seven, you got the black kitten. All right, inner child. Number seven, something happened to you when you was young. All right. You didn't tell nobody. You kept this to yourself. All right. It caused you to change. Mm-hmm. All right. When you grew up, people thought that uh, there was something was different, but they knew something was different, but you never told nobody what really happened. Consequences. All right. Because you didn't tell nobody. There are consequences now. All right. I want to say this here, number seven. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes assholes do asshole things. People come in your life, they fuck it up. They come in, they confuse you. You don't know whether or not that if you're man or woman, you, you just be confused. You don't know uh, if you want to pursue a certain kind of dream or, or you want to change up and go some other way. You don't know whether or not if you want to live or die. You just don't know what the hell to do. All you know is that you're just taking orders. You're doing exactly what you told to do. No more, no less. And being as a child, it's hard to be able to tell somebody that somebody doing something that they shouldn't do to you. But you wait until you get older and you say, when I get older, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say that. But that opportunity may never come because that some bitch might have died. So instead of you fighting against that, you decide to give in to that and say, okay, well, this is the way I'm supposed to be because if not, then this, that, and the other wouldn't have happened to me. But that's a lie. Uh, when, when there's a calling on your life, and I'm saying it the way I feel. If you don't mind, if I just add a little passion to this conversation. When there's a calling on your life, motherfuckers. These germ, germ motherfuckers will come and infiltrate your life and try to get you off your path that you're not even aware of that's there for you. They'll come in and they'll try to confuse you. They'll come in and they'll try to make you feel like that uh, you, there's no hope for you. You ain't shit. You'll never be shit. Yeah. Number seven. These whole ass motherfuckers. Yeah, and I'm saying this with passion because this is the way I feel. They didn't give you the opportunity to grow up and be who you wanted to really be. Because some asshole act like they couldn't go out there in the world and grab them somebody of their age, mature, but they wanted to mess with a child. So if you don't have any guidance or you're not rooted and grounded into the word, and I'm not trying to trying to tell you nothing about, you know, but anyway, if you're not rooted and grounded or have somebody that's very rooted and grounded and stable, you're going to lose your foot. And you'll believe that, that whatever, however they, you've been treated, that's the way you're supposed to be. I'm not telling you what I don't know. I'm telling you what I do know. I remember being abused back in the day when we talked about when I was young. And I thought, of, well, maybe this is the way I'm supposed to be. Maybe I did something in a past life and I deserve to be beat up. I deserve to be taken advantage of and mistreated. Maybe I did something and I don't remember what it is. So I need to accept everything that's coming at me. But God, divine source universe, stepped in and showed up and showed up. Built me up where I was towed down. You think I always had self-esteem? No, baby. I had no self-esteem at all. I didn't even have a voice. Others would talk and, and just run over me. You know, in the era that I grew up, grown-ups, whatever grown person said to you, by, to you about you to another grown-up, they believed that grown-up over you. Your word didn't have no volume. But you don't have to be nothing less than who you are supposed to be. And don't let Nan cocksucker, and I said it just like I meant, change you from being who you want to be.